It's Puerto de Capitan, right? Uh, I think so. Puerto? Puerto. I don't remember. It's not Pier Puerta. 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 Puerta is door. Puerto. Right. Yes, that's right. Puerto de Capitan, Puerto de Capitan. This is sailing vessel Xanadu. Uno cuatro. Well, the day has finally come. We are leaving La Paz for the last time. So we're going to start to head up north um, to Guaymas, which is where we're hauling out. It's really popular to haul out there and cheap, uh, and it's out of the hurricane belt. So, yeah, we're going to, we spent a lot of time here. We met a ton of people, and uh, I'm sure we'll miss it, but at this moment, we are just ready to to go get out of here. So, weather's beautiful, wind is like coming from the north, which is where we're going, so it'll be motoring all day, but um, it's, it's gonna be beautiful. Well, here you have it, our final episode. Thanks to everyone who came along for this ride, and a huge thank you to all who became patrons, sent us encouraging messages, and to those who tuned in every week. This episode's gonna be a little bit different than our usual ones. It's a little bit more of a highlight reel of our last six weeks aboard Xanadu, and hopefully captures at least a small piece of the fun we had. After leaving La Paz, we had a wonderful couple of days hanging out with our friends on SV Milnier and SV Arabesque, both who we met in San Francisco, before we said goodbye and headed north on the Sea of Cortez. Oh, wow. <laughs> I can hear something out of the water. I know, I think it might have been birds. I heard it too though. Love it, I love it. Your sunburn's looking real red. <sighs> there you go. Oh. The ranch dressing on it, <laughs> which has some uh, mm. milk solids in it. Actually, everything we've been eating it, 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 it is a vegetarian. Actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at us. Yeah. Mm. Several insects. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, and all the shrimps. That, that's fine. Right? The shrimps. <laughs> the shrimps. <laughs> bye bye. We love you. We love you too. Mucho, mucho love. We're sad to see you go, but we're excited for your adventures. It's just the beginning. Yay. Yes. 
We'll see you out there. Okay, take care. Yeah, you too. Bye. <laughs> Linden's getting to the point of tan and the shorts are fading enough that from a distance he looks like he's completely naked. <laughs> Like, completely naked with a wicked tan line. Is that normal? I don't think that's normal. Yeah, I've just never done this much before. <laughs> Babe, I came out here to get away from the smoke. Oh, I was dying in there. There you go, yeah, in the wind. <coughs> ah! <laughs> oh, my throat, literally. Sorry about that. Virgin on a Starbucks blend here. Real, real dark. You can make me a frappuccino now. Ooh. Um, no. I don't think you're allowed to have lattes on boats. I am, because I found this cool thing. <laughs> I'm not really practiced up, though. I think that's hot enough. Are you using our meat thermometer to... This is my bread thermometer because... It's weird, it says meat thermometer on it. <laughs> uh, this day is so nice, so calm, we slept so well, and the water's actually cleared up. But it's good, we're gonna stay here for, the, for a few days. There's a big um, system coming in. Not today, but it's supposed to start tomorrow. Um, and this is just offers the best protection from a northerly, from strong northerly, northerly winds. So we'll stay here. Our friends are over there, um, Manatari's. So they're staying here as well, so it's good. It's a nice place, but we're taking advantage of this calm, beautiful day. And I blew up our donut. <laughs> we're just taking it to shore. <laughs> Good to see him getting some exercise. Don't forget your donut. Oh no. <laughs> I forgot. Nice work. Good. Nice pizzas. Mm, thank you. Believe it or not, that's not the first time I've heard that. <laughs> so Tiff has become the <clears throat> pizza master or master of pizzas. Pizza sensei. Pizza sensei. Pizza queen. Um, Pizza champion. I think she's feeling a little better this evening. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it was a beautiful day here. We're tired, happy, and soon to be full. I'm 
What? Soon to be full. Ah, uh, yes. A pizza. Yes. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Baby, you gotta say your, your saying, your catchphrase. Your saying? <laughs> no. I don't know what it is. Your catchphrase. Something about whales? Oh. My. Goodness! <laughs> Looks like one's coming in closer, so maybe the Adele is working. I think so. But right now we've seen about, there's probably about six in this area, six or seven. It's crazy. And nobody else is around. It's just us and the whales. I was just telling Lyndon, seeing whales is probably like one of the top highlights of sailing for me. Just being like able to witness these massive creatures in the wild. It's so awesome. I love it. I see tiny little fin, hey? Oh. Oh, no tail for us. Isn't that so cool? than we thought. A bit of rock climbing involved. Oh. Can you grab I'm trying. Here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Let go. Yeah, it's hot. It's been stunning it's been though. Really amazing, it's though. gorgeous. Definitely more challenging than I thought it was gonna be. Physically challenging. A bit emotionally challenging. <laughs> what was that face you just made? It's on the sketchy spot. That's when it's been emotionally challenging. Yeah. Good for you. Okay. Where's Linda? Hey! <laughs> There's pools! Look how clear the water is! Ah, are you going in? I think I might have a little dip in. Huh. 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 I feel very refreshed after that swim. Beautiful. <laughs> we were very thinking... cold, but very nice. 
There wasn't as nearly as cold as the ocean. I don't think so. I think it was colder than the ocean. Okay. Well, we're back down. That hike was really awesome. It's kind of like bouldering. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Fun. yeah, that was really fun. Quite, quite a long, we could have kept going, but we're tired. Now we gotta walk all the way back. An hour, it takes us an hour to get there. Yeah, gotta walk all the way over there. <coughs> They're staring at you. Okay. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an imposter on the boat. She traded out. Nice <laughs> <He's> loaves. <laughs> you impressed? Yeah. Your bread game has really picked up since we've uh been sailing. I know. Yeah. It really has. Good job. Thanks. Let's slice that open and it's just a lot. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. As we crossed the Sea of Cortez, it signaled the close of this adventure. Every event from now on was our last on Xanadu. The day-to-day -day tasks of living on the sea would slowly slide from our life to living in our memories. The sea was calm and the wind was light. Not enough to sail, so we had to motor through the night. But as morning came, a breeze rolled in and we were able to spend a lazy morning enjoying where we were and cruising into port one last time. Did you sleep well? No. Did you sleep at all? Yeah, I slept a little bit. You got a good long stretch in there. Oh, was that sad? <laughs> I just felt good that I could stay awake long enough to give you a good sleep, hopefully. Ah! Ooh, not great. Breakfast. We'll see the bread that yeah. is amazing. The eggs I flopped on. Yeah, big time. <laughs> big time. <gasps> You're such a bum. I'm just being honest with you. <laughs> so. As we sailed into Guaymas, we couldn't help but reflect on how far we'd come on this wonderful adventure. And thanks to the many of you who followed along the whole way. We just 
just did our first successful anchor. And it's a pretty nice place. We're really excited. Well, that was an eventful sleep. So paranoid we were dragging anchor, but we weren't. We got a hit. Oh, there's a bear! Oh my goodness. That is massive. Was it worth it? Yes. Give me a better answer. It was so worth it. What was your favorite part? I loved the people we met and I really enjoyed the experience of living on the water. What was your favorite part? Meeting people. I loved being on the ocean with all the wildlife. Seeing whales, seeing dolphins, seeing killer whales. Puffer fish. Puffer fish. I just love being on the ocean. Yeah. I also really enjoyed the life. That life was just like smaller. We just owned what was in the boat. Do you think that it was easier or harder than it looked on YouTube before we left? Harder. The actual act of like sailing and planning sailing was a lot harder than it looked. Mm -hmm. How did you like having a YouTube channel? Good and bad. <laughs> it was very time consuming. It really strapped us to land for internet and power and good because honestly we met we met some of like I think lifelong connections because of YouTube and I love that it's documented online. I'd agree I'd say that the actual act of running a channel was way more time consuming yeah. than we thought it would ever be like editing and uploading took a massive amount of our time especially if you're somebody who's good with computers and editing and all that stuff uh, it's a super viable way I think of traveling yep. and supporting yourself neither of us really enjoyed editing no and tech wise like our tech there's a lot of other things we could have got that would have helped us um, streamline but yeah, that's true. And I think if we were to stay doing it, if we were to stay doing it, we would have done that, upgraded. Yeah. But it was it was a big commitment. Would you do it again? Full time living on the boat, I don't think would work for us. I would agree with you. I think that this experience, we went into it very open minded, not really knowing if we'd fall in love with it forever or or see it as a part time thing. And I think I would love to do it again, but not all not all year round. Yeah, having. Never done any sort of ocean sailing or living on a boat or anything and then jumping into it full time, I think. Um, it was great and we had an awesome time, but long term, I don't think we could do it. I wouldn't want to. There's too many other things we like to do. Yeah. Advice. To anyone out there? Anybody, if somebody's watching and they're thinking about doing it, what would you say? Do it. Overall. I do not regret anything we've done. I think life is more fully lived when you just do the things you want to do. So I would say do it and honestly there's so many people in that community that are going to help you. So just ask for help and do it. <laughs> now there wasn't really any advice in that answer. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like there's so many things like 
we did that I'm like, I don't think we're the best people to ask about these no, things. No, but I would say, so if I was to do it again, I would get more experience sailing beforehand. And really, I think if you could crew for somebody for an extended period, like a month or something, mm -hmm. uh, that would be a huge advantage going in. Yeah, and there's so many opportunities to crew. Anyways, thanks everybody for watching. This is the end of the channel, I, I guess, know. end of the adventure. It's so weird. Uh, there's lots of other folks that like follow along. I feel like since we posted our channel, there's like hundreds more now. Yeah, which is awesome. So, so get out there. Lots of our friends have channels. Breaking Wave Sailing. Uh, we met them in Tofino. They have a channel now if you're looking for somebody in the Pacific Northwest. And uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much. It's been an awesome ride. I guess bye. Bye. Show it, show it, show it, show the dust. It's hard to explain it. Tiff wanted me to show the dust to the camera. That's how she told me. Come on, dust. Oh, look at that. Can't bring that, whatever that is, back. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get rid of them. Anyways, here's some of the mess that we have. <laughs> this is what I love to do when we're moving. <laughs> Look at the mess. Yeah, you do that all the time, you're right. <laughs> and you get so frustrated. Oh, oh dishes! Why do we always have dishes? Because Tiff makes dishes, that's just... That is so frustrating! <laughs> do you eat? <sighs> you know what I get my goat. <laughs>